What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So I got three spells on that we're going to try and the sword we're going to try. Um, I was looking at where we got to go. It's just right over there. But let me let me try this out first. That seems pretty badass. I like that. Good, good knockback on it. Really good knockback on it. Mm, BDC. Scaling wise, that's that's hefty. 788. Barely, barely stronger than Blasphemous. But I, I would need a bigger, I would need to focus strength for this. Seems cool though. Go smash and boom, 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 boom. It seems like it would be fun in PvP, but kinda useless. No boys. Yeah, a lot of these spells, unfortunately, just don't really, they don't, they just don't get it done. They don't get it done, which is sad, you know, because I look at that and I'm like, this would be badass. And it just ain't, it just ain't doing it, man. It ain't doing it. I'm going to mess with that in the new zone. I'll have to lighten up my, my armor load, but that's fine. There we go. Let's fight. Let's try this on something that's not crazy. So we're looking at a thousand damage for half our FP bar. I mean, it could, I don't know. PVP, there's potential just because the lightning fans out. Death lightning. That has potential in PVP for sure. I don't think that lightning even did damage, though. Huh. Like, I'm pretty sure one of those bolts hit him, but it, it didn't look like it did. It looked like he just didn't, he didn't care, he just swung. Try it on you. Death through lightning. All right, so if one of those bolts connects, we're getting 725, which is decent. Now that looks that looks cool. So let's let's drop those two off. I, I definitely see I see some potential using that in in PvP, but that's well I don't know. Let me I'll try that in a boss later. Is it just an upgraded version of Ancient Dragon's Lightning Spear? So we'll put that on. I like that guy. Um, and then let me put on a uh, Rot because we're where we're going. There's gonna be Rot. Let me try the Black Blade thing again. That I like a lot. That's a decent damage, it's pretty cheap. Uh now I I think I just run this way. The startup on Black Blade is definitely kinda long. Yep, this is it. See, this is one of the benefits of, like, recording all of your gameplay as you play. Because, you know, I wouldn't, if I just played the game, I, I wouldn't remember this exact route. But I was able to just go back to an episode and see, like, this is, this is where I went. 
Just pound them all. We've won cursed all of them. You've been you've been on this over and over. The children and the children and the children and generations to come. seed bed curses maybe I need more maybe I, I gotta hit him with more of them I'm not worried about the rooms though it was like nothing I have my health back our Baldockian blessings on. Alright, back to where we're going though. Halligatree Town. Gotta get up to a millennia. Mm, came from that way. Okay, we're good. Oh no, I said I wanted to use the sword, the big boy sword. Uh, so I need to lower my load. Okay, just lower my chest will get me there. Um, well, no, let's do uh, this one, this one, this one. Yeah, blades. Oh, shit. Wait, 13.7. We'll just put that on. Should have died. Oh, damn, I killed him even though I don't have the uh, thing. It'd be really hard to actually like get that off against a player, but it has the kind of damage. Like that's that's the type of damage I would expect from a spell. Trick two. Resistance is for you. Shit! No, you <laughs> Damn it, dude. I like this sword a lot. What is it, the scaling? Like that, that's gonna be really, really good in PvP. Cause the stun of that. Oh, hang on, where did I? Hold up, I went. Oh, I, my stuff was up there, and I didn't get down the ladder. I rolled off. So I climbed up, I jumped. 
No, wait, hang on. What? Yeah, no, it is these guys. Ow, get off of me. So there's, there's potential there, for sure. Damn, again? Again? What am I, just trolling myself here? It's like I'm, I'm hitting, you know, I'm hitting roll instinctively because I see something running at me, and then it's just like, ha! Off the ledge you go again. Like, I'm going to smack the shit out of all of these things. Definitely need more poise on cast. That one's okay. The, the single dragon spear, not so good. The double dragon spear. You know what? If I have a Baldockian's blessing, would that give me enough poise? to cast this in the face of my enemies. If so, that would be a game changer. No, you don't. like the AoE on that. That seems like a, a really solid choice as, uh, you know, like if I'm, if I'm like considering primary weapons, this, this so far I think is my favorite of the various colossals I've seen. And the fact that it's B scaling strength, 3220, um, this might be my go-to for the strength build. Because I could, I mean, I, getting up to 20 faith would give my, my build access to just, you know, your basic your basic faith incantation stuff. Let's jump across. And then, uh... But get, get my basic faith stuff and then just focus on, you know, taking strength all the way up. Stronger Baldockian's blessing. I mean, I had a feeling that was going to come as soon as I got ambushed there. I will say the the lack of spell poise is is a um, it's a concern because I I'm loaded 
on poise. I'm not, you know, I'm not some, you know, oh, I'm a caster in pure lightweight gear. Like my dude, it has, my dude has, has heft. He has a lot of heft. And to see that much heft while still not being able to get off cast, kind of sucks, you know? It's like, I want to do casting, but Like, seeing this makes me think that, uh, casting just won't... won't be viable in PvP. Let me um I'm test test something here. We're gonna be going super thick for a moment. I am now the thickness. If my dude still gets interrupted, then it, all hope is lost. There's just because we're, we're we are basically just Jimmy boys at this point. And so if we are still not able to get off casts with this much poise, well, lads, all hope is lost on casting being viable. Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike's not getting the job done. Uh, uh, I'll say it's crazy to just to see like how strong enemies are at times in this, because it's like it, it's a little bit of a, a disconnect. Because you know we'll fight bosses and we'll just obliterate bosses, but then I'll go fighting just you know three enemies and they'll just. Bend me down and, and beat my ass. Dragon Smithing Stone. I'd hope I'd get something like that. It's uh, try hard as those dudes were. Saw a ladder, I thought. Yeah, there is a ladder. All right, let me. Now that we're past that guy, I'm gonna try more casting. Um. Got another grace. Room 12. Man, there's so much just interweaving areas here. I think I want to go back up top and finish that first. Because this, it looks like this is probably the way to proceed, whereas that looks like a standalone, you know, one and done type deal.
Oh, I am dumb. I could have just... Wait, no, the ladder down would have taken me... So the poise, I don't, I don't think the poise matters, to be honest. This dude's respawn. So I need to drop, I need to drop, kill the things below, work my way back up, then go up. I can't, it's impossible to, to do that otherwise. Those things are just going to murder you. I think that's what you're supposed to do is go down there, kill them. This area certainly seems ripe on the bullshit scale, which I suppose makes sense considering uh, the fact that it's basically a hidden area that you need to need to get to. These things are insane. They just, they just kill you. Like, what the fuck, dude? Well, poise, poise casts aren't gonna work here anyway. Let me go back to, um, the rocking. To you. How much health do you add? Not enough to be even. I shouldn't even bother keeping you around. Um, I'm not really using charge spells right now. Screw it. I want to take that path up and see what's up there, but it looks like that's in, that's just impossible until these things are gone. Bro, oh fuck off, dude! Jesus Christ! Nine 
So roughly 15,000 health on those. I can get one more out. Yeah, the thing with Flame of Frenzy is even even now, the uh, multi-hit nature of that. So good at getting off staggers. Didn't I have one that made it like easier to stagger enemies? Enhances charge spells. What was it? Oh no, that's my potion. Never mind. I don't think you could even get up here if you hadn't killed those things. Out of my way! Never get tired of doing that. Um. Hmm. There's a whole area going down. I'll take that tree up. No, hang on, what the hell? No way for me to... Jump up. Get back up. Maybe I need to jump from this onto that branch. Oh, it looks a little... Yeah, no, that's it, that's it. I can take the branch. Oh. What the hell? That's like the start of the zone. Why would I come up here? Why? I'm really confused why you would... Because you have to kill those things and then you have a whole, you know, battalion of dudes just sitting there. Let me... I don't know. I'm thoroughly confused why why any of that was necessary now. Um, yeah, weird. Weird indeed. Let's go back to the plaza. I want to clear this room out, at least, and then we'll um, wrap it and move forward. Let me see. What, what else was there over here? Did that connect down at all? No, it just killed those. Alright, so yeah, we're good then. Uh, ants. Still the best weapon in the game. The damage is insane. Kills all the bad guys every time, indeed. Oh, she's supposed to just jump down to continue. But you can take this to get back up if you want to rest, I guess. Yeah, that looks to be the case. All right, well, let's let's wrap up. I'm gonna redo uh, my spell setup because it's clear some of these aren't going to be viable for PVE. And we'll continue this on in the next episode.